Hey there, welcome to episode 18 of Tick. Tick. Boom. <laughs> hey there, my name is Maud Garrett. I created geekbomb.net, giving you the boom. I'm Alicia Malone. I created malonesmovieminute.com. So I'll be bringing the tick tick into this equation. So together it makes... Tick, tick, boom. boom! Yay! Get it? Yeah. Now we take your suggestions on what we're going to talk about, you know, for a topic's sake. And mm -hmm. we've got one from the Super J75. Yeah, he said, I love you gals, but why no Australian movies? Top oh. five Australian movies. I would love to hear that. So un Australian of us. So un Australian. Up fair income. So we thought we'd do exactly that. But we're going to do top four movies. And video games. This one was a bit hard, so it's games that are made in Australia. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, I've decided to choose one from each genre that I think Australia does really well mm -hmm. and maybe try and pick a few that you haven't heard about before so that you could go and find them if you want. Great. Let me fix this. Do you want me to start? This is so sweet. Looking out for you. I don't know if you can see it, but you know. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to start with... Crime thriller. Okay. Because that is something that Australia does really, really well. Very well. Especially in TV. We saw that great Underbelly series. We saw Eric Banner's Chopper. But the one that I like is Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Now, hopefully a few people out there have seen this because this was the, the movie that gave Jackie Weaver her Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. It's got Jackie. It's got Joel Edgerton. It is about a Melbourne crime family and just the sense of tension throughout this movie is quite incredible. David Michaud is the director. He also directed The Rover, which was in cinemas oh, recently. Oh, The Rover? The Rover. And Animal Kingdom is well worth a look if you haven't already. Great story, great cast. And not even that much happens, but you feel on the edge of your seat the whole time. And there are a few surprises in there. So Ooh. that's what I pick. Great. Uh, number four for me is a game that came out in 2008. Uh, sure, Activision Blizzard took over this particular franchise for PlayStation 2 and 3, Xbox 360 and the Wii, but it was an Australian development company called Tantula Studios or Tantula, Tantula Media uh, that took over the Nintendo DS version and it ended up being a really high quality game. The game being The Legend of Spyro, The Dawn of the Dragon. What, is that about dragons? No, you know Spyro? Little friendly purple dragon? He oh, was, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Okay. So gotcha. this Australian studio jumped on board and did this game. Uh, to give you an idea of the calibre of voice actors, we had Mr. Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, oh. Elijah Wood, and some man that just happened to marry my second cousin, oh, Gary yeah. Oldman. Gary Oldman, awesome. So yeah, that game came out in 2008. What's, Great. Your number, what's your next one, next genre? My next genre, let's go over to comedy. Because there was a great run of Australian comedies in the 90s, like Muriel's Wedding and Priscilla Queen the Desert. Your terrible Muriel. Terrible Muriel. Strictly Ballroom, which I love, yeah. Baz Luhrmann's film. But the one that I am choosing is The Castle. Ah! Now, this is an Australian classic. There's so many good lines from it. Very quotable film. Love. What's this? It's a Rissal. It's a Rissal. There's a lot of very Australian humour in this one, which Americans may not get or people from other countries may not get. A Rissal's a meat patty. But it was made for just seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow! Really low budget by a production company who, well known in Australia for producing TV comedy, they're fantastic. The cast is great. Eric Banner is in this one too, and it's all about a family who aren't that rich, but they're rich in love, and that's the nicest thing about it. Is with all the comedy going on, they actually really love each other, and you can see that on screen. And as you said, so many lines like, "That's going straight to the pool room." I like the. How much did he want for it? Ah, tell him he's dreaming. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great comment on Australian culture. Absolutely. Number three for me, the franchise Bioshock. Now, it's a is very... Well, this is a bit of a grey area, sure. It's by 2K, and 2K, they had a development studio in Boston and in Australia, and sure, Irrational Games were the ones that kind of drove it. But still, an Australian studio worked on it. The game came out in 2007 on the Xbox 360. It was a kind of a mix between a shooter horror, which is what I'm not usually into, yeah. uh, but this game is very, very successful, and of course we've seen two more games in the franchise. Hopefully, it's not the last we've seen of it, even though Irrational Studios has called it a day. Oh. But there you go, Australia, you know what? You did well on that game, and I'm gonna give it a Give it a number three spot. Well, I think it's very Australian to claim things. Yeah, as our own, so it is. I'm successful. totally claiming that. We did that. That's our, that's our company. Well, I will go now to drama. Okay. Which is another thing Australia is good at. Yes. And there is one that is particularly heart-wrenching. 
Candy. Oh, this is so sad. It's really sad. It stars oh. the late, great Heath Ledger and Abby Cornish, and they play a couple who are both addicted to heroin. Now, the story is organised into three parts. There's heaven, then there's earth, and then there's hell as they go through the ups and downs of addiction. And it affects their whole lives, obviously. It affects their relationship with each other. Mm -hmm. It affects their relationships with their families. It's a really honest look at heroin addiction. And once again, it just shows how brilliant Heath Ledger was. How many movies are like that? They all kind of go into drugs. Animal Kingdom skirts around it, but you also had like two two hands with Heath, Led Heath Ledger as well. Yeah. Uh, little Fish. Yeah. Like little they all fish, kind of... Tiny flat. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a, it's a bit of a drug problem in Australia, so they explored a lot on film. Mm, there you go. Number two for me, the force is strong with this game. It did come out on PlayStation 2, on the Wii and on the PSP, but I played on the Wii. Uh, I am talking about the Force Unleashed. Now, the best thing about playing it on the Wii is that you had this accessory, which was kind of like a lightsaber that oh, you would yeah. put the Wiimote into because it's a, just, it's a hack and slash with a lightsaber. That's awesome. And I kind of felt a little bit weird sitting in my living room having the best time of my life going like this. <laughs> yeah. But it was so good. The voice acting was incredible. Uh, it is a very enriching part of the Star Wars universe. Uh, so, and it was so good that uh, it, it got a sequel that no one played. And they made it in Australia? Uh, it was by Chrome Studios, and that one oh. came out in 2008. Wow, go Australia. I didn't yeah. know they had so many gaming studios. That's great. Okay, now my last genre is history, historical. Mm -hmm. Now, Australia has a very rich history, and also one that maybe a few people who are not from Australia know about. So, the film I'm choosing for that is Gallipoli. Also, I thought you were going to say Australia. Peter Weir. No. <laughs> Gallipoli. It's a war drama. It came out just after Mad Max and it stars young Mel Gibson with his blue sparkly eyes and his Australian accent. It's about two young men who are enlist in the Australian army and then they're sent off to World War One. and it's all about the Anzac mm. fight in, in Turkey. And if you're Australian, you know all about that. I think we actually had to watch this movie for school. Yeah, yeah, school. yeah, exactly, we did. But it's directed by Peter Weir and it's, it's a really honest look at war. And one that's just really part of Australian culture. Well, my number one game is a lot happier than that. Uh, it was a simple app that took the world by storm. The concept so simple. With your finger, you just slice some fruit. I am talking about Fruit Ninja, but what you may not know is it's by a studio called Half Brick, and they are Brisbane-based. Oh, so wow. I was a little bit addicted to that game as well, you know. It was so popular. I only never got into it, but I remember seeing just lots of people doing this all That's the time. It. You got the combos, you couldn't get the bombs, but you had to get the fruit, and you'd slice it like six times before it fell down through your, your, your screen. <laughs> what a successful game, and I think it kind of gave everyone else in Australia hope that maybe their app could be the next breakthrough app and earn them millions of dollars. Uh -huh. And I'm a little bit biased because I'm a Brizzy girl. Yeah. And my brother's a game um, app developer. So it's like, come on, Darcy, you owe me money. I know. <laughs> well, I'd love to hear from you guys if there are any other Australian movies or Australian games that we miss that you think are special, ones that you want to tell people about, maybe films that no one really knows about, little hidden gems. I'd mm. also say Snowtown Murders, but that will burst your bubble. No, safety, thank you very much. And I also kind of want to say the um, soon-to-be-released Mad Max game. I, it's not oh, cool. developed in Australia, but I love the fact that they were going to get an American to voice Mad Max, and then everyone erupted, and they were like, no, Mad Max is Australian. So they're now getting an Aussie actor. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. That's, that's cool, really huh? good. Well, let us know below in the comments, and make sure you... Subscribe to our videos and give them a like if you want to see more from Tick Tick Boom. And shout out to the guy who's obviously going to do thumbs down for every one of my videos. Mwah! Oh, yeah, it's like. Here's a hug because you need one. Which is always like one. Every time. <laughs> Just one. one down, everyone else is yay! Obviously, oh. we do this for you as much as we do it for us. We have a blast, but I hope you do too. And of course, if you do want to see more, make sure you suggest topics. Mm. We do read all your suggestions. We're getting a bunch through that are amazing. Yeah, I'm collecting them all, so we'll have to go through them all and just answer them one by one. Mm -hmm. But until next time, that's been... Uh, so movies have been ticked. Games ticked. So that means all we're left with is... Boom! Boom! <laughs>